Okay, so we've done all the learning. We've come to a particular end in the answer process. So we understand all the different concepts underneath the answer process for playing chess. So now's the time for it to make it your own and to work with those concepts as your own, as your own individual player and looking at researching all, all spheres of playing chess and understanding of chess so that you can come to playing your own system in your own way. That's the whole all for chess. The answer to chess is, is whether you want to actually practice it or not, it's there for you. If you're subconsciously practicing it and you don't know you're practicing it, it is the answer to chess process. And no matter who you are, I've shown you games from high level games, grandmaster games, all the famous people playing chess, um, they're using this subliminally, the answer process. The people that are beating you, the people that are better than you, the stronger players, they're using the answer to chess. It's just how you then want to go about utilizing the answer yourself. And just go here. So yeah, don't waste the knowledge, um, use it, abuse it, <laughs> and really do fashion it into your own system. Find your own way with the answer. And really do, if you're really into chess, really do enjoy playing those games and just keep on playing. And it's not a matter of just playing just to play. If you want to get better, it's playing and then learning from what you've been playing and then evaluating, constantly evaluating looking at how the engines look at the games i've shown that i don't understand half of the time and um, the moves that the engines are making and sometimes when i do it's a matter of well i don't really think like that so how can i fashion that type of concept into my own game and there's ways around it so yeah if you wanted to get better you have to analyze your games to find out where you're actually going wrong then have a look at where you're actually going right and how you can make that even better so I know I talk a lot and I, I like talking I like the aspects of chess I like the the practice of it and there's so many concepts as we've shown but I believe the end of my particular journey in terms of the chess aspect um, I thought I'd reached the end of the chess um, journey a while ago, a few years ago, but I realised, no, there's, there's all these fine-tuned details that need to be ironed out before I can class it as the answer to chess. So keep plodding away, you'll find your own way. Uh, hopefully I've given you some a starter for 10 as to having a look at uh, in a different way how to look at chess it's not looking at any formal opening systems or styles or or ways of doing things you know it's a, it's a more of a practical hands-on can look ugly but it gets the job done it's wanting it's chomping at the bit for this pawn do you know what I'm going to do I'm actually going to sacrifice my rook I'm going to do a Kasparov this reminds me of a Kasparov position so I'm actually going to go for that don't mind being down the exchange it has improved my position I'm feeling fairly comfortable with this let's see if the magic of the answer works for us this will be the final game that we can demonstrate the answer process being put into play with everything let's go here with the sacrificing that was the end end process the sacrificing for the answer so we put everything else together to get to this point ah so let's go here mm -hmm. Rook. I won't preempt it, but the rook's coming. Got his queen. If he forgets, but his rook can come down, put a check. So that's what he's debating. Does he come with the rook? No, he's not. 
Um, do we go with the knight putting a check on the king? Yes, we do. Does the king come down and attack? Let's put a check on again. Do we squeeze our queen into this little gap here? It's not really a major thing because it can't really do anything being there, but it looks good. It can't get into the king because the, you know, it can only go here, but it's not putting a threat on the king. So the knight can come here and it can go backwards and forwards, potentially taking the queen off, but he's got this pawn supporting, so that's a bit annoying. So he's going to fashion attack towards our king, he's moved the queen, so we can go with the check. And his queen doesn't have any protection on, should have probably left it, because now we can grab, grab the queen. So this is a lovely last game for the answer process. And it looks like the opponent has left the game. So thank you very much for everybody who's um, watched any of the videos for the answer process. It's been a really good journey and it's all real. We're playing victory on that. Thank you very much. And this game definitely showed that the end process that we worked towards, which was appropriate sacrificing of pieces to get a better position on the board. All of the other concepts work if you want to apply them. The answer to chess helps those who look for it. Thank you.